this is uh, dinner time and uh, you can see we have this type of food here at this uh, nursing home and uh, I've been uh, talking about uh, my mother eating and uh, before uh, the, well even now after six years they still don't want to feed her and they're reluctant and to me it's not reluctancy it's uh, negligence about feeding her they want to uh, put her on the tube I've been reading about a lot of this peg tube feeding and all that type of stuff in the internet and they're always talking about strange things about like uh, how it's so terrible people are uh, on you know their last uh, life or their last years and they have to be on the tube and it's like uh, so pitiful and all this type of stuff you know and uh, all these things I've been checking on the internet and I haven't seen anything like I've seen here like you can see there's food here and she can eat this food but this place uh, six years ago wanted to put her on the tube they, and so I let her put her on the tube and uh, then I started uh, going through a uh, type of a eating rehabilitation and I know she can eat so I've been making a lot of these videos probably people can't understand why I'm making these clips you know uh, what I'm trying to say is she can eat food but they don't want to feed her food because it takes time and money and expense to hire people and this is what I'm trying to say and they want a tube feeder and this is the problem and I think a lot of people there's about 20 people being tube fed of course the people that can eat by themselves eat by themselves and they're helped a little bit but in her case uh, it's not happening like that it's like uh, she can't eat by herself so they want a tube feeder and say it's dangerous which it doesn't uh, over the last six years it hasn't been dangerous and there hasn't been any danger in it she can eat and she enjoys eating and she should be eating if she can eat and they made a law April 2014 that these people should be given examinations but so far after that there's nobody all those people are too fed they look pathetic in there because the only thing they do is lay in bed and they say it's dangerous for them just like they said for my mother I don't believe it you know uh, at least 10% uh, at least two people one person two people three people yeah, should be able to eat you know it's hard to believe that everybody's so dangerous and in the internet they always talk about uh, how you know uh, uh, once they're too fed you know they're really in a bad conditions and all this type of stuff and I can't understand it. Uh, you know it's uh, who's writing this stuff in the internet saying uh, it's almost right it's just a thing about being too fed I don't mind my mother being too fed if she can't eat if her esophagus and all this type of stuff uh, is not working properly and it's dangerous for her to eat and of course she should be too fed and that's good it has a nutrition it has a lot of nutrition and it, uh, it's a good way to uh, survive if you uh but what i'm saying is they want to feed her and uh you can see the time now okay she's got all this food it's five o'clock they started feeding a little bit early now I won't take any pictures of the people that are being tube fed, but they're really in bad, terrible condition. And they get worse very fast because they're tube fed only. They don't get food, fed food. They just get this liquid nutrition. And that's what they want to do to my mother, right? And she has made a remarkable uh, progress after eating. And I went through a lot of bullshit at this place to get her eating. That's what I'm talking about. I don't read anything about this in the internet. They talk about Ted to Peg Tube and they have these scientists and these doctors and they're bullshitting just like the doctor here is bullshitting.